Hello, and welcome to Stuff on Shelves. In today's episode, I'll be replacing the fan on my QNAP TS453A. This is a NAS storage solution. Uh, inside, I've got four hard drives, and this video is going to be largely pointless for a huge amount of the population. This is a task that people rarely do, rarely need to do, and also I didn't need to do. Let's make this a little easier for ourselves. I'll take out the discs. I got a 12, a 16 um, in RAID 1, so I get about 25 terabytes of usable space. Put some labels on these so I don't mix them all up and give them a good clean. They're not that dusty. I could have just, you know, blown the dust off myself. So I'm doing this purely for fun, and it really wasn't even that much fun. So I'll show you the process that I went through. I'll try and tell you the part that I bought, even though I've forgotten. And I'll show you some of the process involved in this largely pointless exercise. The QNAP here, uh, with its hard drives removed, is almost completely empty. You've got a main board there, you can see the RAM on the side. You've got the uh, area where the discs go in, which occupy the large, uh, large amount of the inside space. Let me just give this a dust, because uh, this is five years old now. The fan that is enclosed behind these four screws. And I'm going to replace the fan with a quiet version here from um, Noctura, I think is the brand. Uh, let's remove a bit of the dust around here. And remove these four screws. The fan itself looks like a standard PC case fan. It's 120 mils, uh, I think, a 12 centimeter fan. As you can see from all the dust that's been building up over the last five years, um, it's pretty dirty, but also not that bad, really. It's been on, it's been turned on for five years and collecting dust all that time. I have a four pin fan on this currently. And it's important that if you replace the fan on your QNAP, that it is also four pins. This one that I'm trying to wedge into the, the gap here is a three pin fan. And it, as I said, a pretty pointless exercise. I replaced the fan and the day later, I took it out again and put the old one back in because it was a three pin fan and it didn't have the speed control part to it. But if you are replacing it, it's as straightforward as switching it out, make sure you put it the right way. These tend to be exhaust fans, so the fan should blow outwards from the back of the, the case in this instance here. And pop that back on, tighten everything back up. Make sure you've got everything plugged in the right place, put the pin connectors back in. I've got to replace the sound element here that I have to take out in order to get the fan back in. It came out easy, but I couldn't put my new one back in. I put my lid back on, and it took a while. The first time I did it, I was here, oh look, I've done this correct. And then I you know, I put everything back in, put my discs back in, and then look at the front, I did it wrong. So that was also a bit of a waste of time. I did that wrong, so let's take it out again, unscrew that, wedge that back down, and it looks like I've done that correct now. So that was, you know, a bit of fun over the weekend, replacing a fan and replacing it back again. I've been stuff on shelves. This is the QNAP at NAS. If you want to like and subscribe, that'd be great. And if you don't, then don't worry about it. Bye.